Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs and I'm a content developer within education services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the test agent registration native application learning byte. All right, so here is our example. In our example, we have a few different devices that I want to talk about. First, we have the control center, which is the Paragon Active Assurance control center. And that's connected into a management network. And then we have the TA3 device, which is a test agent device, or is going to be a test agent device. And that's connected into two different places. First, the ENS192 interface connects into an edge router, which then connects into the service provider network. And then the ENS160 interface connects into the management network. And that's the interface we'll use to allow communication between TA3 and the control center. All right, so the criteria, for example, TA3 is using Ubuntu 18.04, and it's the application is actually already present, so we won't need to download that, but I'll show you where to download it, so don't have to worry about that. And then, of course, we want to register the test agent application with the Paragon Active Assurance Control Center. So with that being said, let's get this going. All right, so here is the login page for the Paragon Active Assurance web interface. Let's go ahead and log in. And after logging in, we're currently in the dashboard workspace, and we need to first go to the test agents workspace. And so let's go ahead and click on test agents on the ribbon on the left. And you can see here that we don't have any test agents installed or registered yet. And so we can download the test agent package by clicking download or clicking on the link here that says download and install. Let's go ahead and click download. It does the same thing. And we're presented with two different major sections, test agent application and test agent appliance. What we want to do is the test agent application because that allows us to install the test agent on a server such as our Ubuntu server. And the test agent appliance is used as an image that you can install on a virtualized server with using one of these images here, or you can create a bootable USB and either just boot from that USB or actually install the test agent on a bare metal server or a laptop or anything else you want to use there. But with this, we're doing the test agent application, so we'll focus on that. And I already have it downloaded on the Ubuntu server, so I'm not going to worry about downloading it again, but I wanted to point out where to find it. Go ahead and close that, and then let's jump to the CLI for the TA3 Ubuntu server. All right, so here is TA3. So first, let's look at the interface information, and we can see here that we have ENS160. And the IP address of 172.25.11.14. Recall, that will be our management interface that will connect into the control center. And then we have ENS192. And that has the IP address of 172.29.5.100. And that's going to be connecting into that edge router to get into the service provider network. And so let's then look at the... Just make sure, or oh, I want to show you which version we're running Ubuntu 18.04. And so we know this is an Ubuntu server, 18.04. The test agent application will work on it. So let's go ahead and verify that we do have the test agent tarball. And we do, you can see that there. I've loaded it in the home directory for lab. And then what we need to do is we need to unpack that tarball. So let's go ahead and do tar minus x, v, z, f, p, a, a, specify the package name, and unpack that. Okay, great, so it's unpacked. And then let's go ahead and move that folder that we just unpacked. We can see here, just unpacked it locally here. Let's go ahead and move that to a more permanent directory. Okay, so that is moved. And then we need to change the uh, the ownership and uh, and group for that new directory. We need to set that to root. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so that's been changed. So next, I'm going to copy and paste a bunch of commands, and or rather, it's one command with a bunch of arguments. And what this will do is it will register 
the test agent with the control center. So let's go ahead and paste that in and I'll go through what each of these parameters are. And so you can see here that we're using the test agent application. This is where we put it. And then we're using register. And then for the config, this is the config that we will be using. That config file. And then the host or the control center host is at that IP address. And then we have the account that we're using. And then we have the username that we're going to log into. Now this username needs to have the ability to register devices. So keep that in mind. You may not use uh, a, like a super user with all the permissions, but this just needs to be with somebody who can register devices. And then the password, the name. Now here I'm using no SSL check or SSL no check. And the reason behind that being a lab environment, the SSL certificate is not going to be trusted. And so we need to add that in. Now, if this was a production environment, you would want to have the SSL certificate to be validated. So with that, let's go ahead and hit enter. And then we see that there were no errors. That looks good. And we're not done yet. We've registered it, but we haven't started the test agent just yet. So the next command that we'll use here, I'm going to copy and paste as well, just to make sure I don't mess it up. We'll talk about what the arguments do. And again, we're using the test agent application. And we can see we're using the config and we're specifying where the configuration file is located. So we're going to start it and we're going to use that configuration file. And notice how there is no prompt after this. This means that it is running, but it's not going to run at boot. So let's go ahead and check that out to make sure that it's actually working. This is a good way to make sure it's actually working. And then we can do what we need to do to start the test agent as a daemon or process so it will start at boot. So with that, let's go ahead and jump back to the web interface. All right, so here is the web interface and this looks good. We see TA3 and if we click on it, get a little more information, we can see that both of those interfaces show up. Uh, we have the management interface and then we have the production interface that's pointing towards the service provider network, great. And then we also have the loopback interface that does show up, but that's not going to be used but since it is an interface present on the device, then it's going to show up here. So with that, let's go ahead and jump back to the TA3 CLI and uh, set this up as a daemon so it will start when the device boots. So here is the CLI for TA3. Let's go ahead and press Control C to end that. And let's go ahead and jump back to the web interface. I just want to show you that the test agent will have stopped working at that point. Okay, so here is the web interface again, and you can see TA3 has a gray circle, and in the legend here, we can see that that means it's offline. And so, okay, great. Let's go ahead and change that so it will run as a daemon or process, and then we can, or service, and then it will survive a reboot. Because currently, obviously, it won't survive a reboot. So let's go ahead and jump back to the CLI of TA3. All right, so here is TA3, and what we need to do is we need to create a file and that's going to be the under the Etsy system D system and we'll call this test PAA test dash agent dash application dot service. As you can see I messed up the name there so let's go ahead and messed up the directory. So we need to have system there we go. So that's a lot better. Let's go ahead and I did copy offline. I'm going to copy this from a, a notepad so I just don't get this wrong. And there we go. So we have the description set, uh, network.target, and then it's going to, this is the service that we're going to be running. And note that we do have the no SSL check added to it. And this is going to look very similar to the previous command that we used just to start it. So we're basically just pushing that command to a service. All right, so let's go ahead and save and quit that file. Then we need to enable the service. We'll authenticate that, and this will enable and reload the daemons on the system. And so now we need to start that service. And authenticate that. All right, so that's going. So let's make sure that that service is running. 
And great, it's running. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and jump back to the web interface and make sure that it's running. All right, so here is the web interface, and we can see that TA3 has a green circle, which means that it's in the ready state, it's online, and things are good to go. We can start running some tests with this test agent if we needed to. All right, so that brings us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we demonstrated how to register test agents with uh, native applications. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.